Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Ireland. Method and Madness 2019 limited edition. This is the single pot still Irish whiskey matured in bourbon and sherry barrels and finished in acacia wood. Ooh, very interesting. So, limited edition, this is a um, Celtic whiskey shop exclusive. If you do not buy it then um, by the Celtic whiskey shop in Dublin, you're not going to get it. 2,500 bottles in total. This actually then was a um, 92 euro um, expensive bottle. So I paid with um, shipping and postage and all the other good wonderful things like VAT um, 112 euros and about 90 cents and so about hundred and thirty dollars to get this over here to Germany I did a nice little bottle share. It's all gone and this is whiskey base number 138238 now um, I'm a little bit confused about something it says um, on the website for Method and Madness, there's actually over here, you see also the very light colored wild cherry um, wood here from the single pot still Irish whiskey. And um, this actually was here um, matured, finished for one, two, four years. So um, this bottle over here was a total of nine casks. Nine casks made up the 2,500 barrels, so I assume that we also had nine casks of the acacia wood as well, and so maybe there were some that were there for one year or two or three or four years with the acacia. Um, that was really something that they mentioned, the master of maturation, Kevin Ogurum. Sorry if I butchered your name, Kevin. Um, that it was very difficult um, to see that maturation since the acacia wood is very, very fine poured and it took longer there was a much slower maturation than the um, cherry wild cherry wood all right so um, method and madness September I'm sorry February 2017 actually brought out their first four bottles I bought three of them there was a single grain that was finished in virgin oak from Spain there was a single malt that was finished in the limousine French oak and there was a single pot still that was finished in chestnut um, I had the three. I actually did all videos about those three. There's a fourth one. There's a 31 year old single grain costs about 2000 plus euros or dollars. Didn't buy that. So sorry. It was out of my price range. And last year I totally missed the Hungarian oak um, bottling. That was the, the 2018 special. I, either I was busy or I missed it or I was too, ch too much of cheapskate to buy it. Um, who knows? All right, good. But I did buy the two of these and I'm very, very happy I did. The color um, difference is just amazing. Yeah. Um, the bottles are fantastic. Very, very heavy bottles. Uh, very thick glass. Even here you have an um, artist couple in Sweden that do the graphics. They take a fluid and they put oil paints on there and they mess around with it until they get a special design which is reflected all over the bottle here. At the back you have some tasting notes. For example, the nose should be sugared almonds, wood spice, and cl crushed cloves. Let's see if they're even close. Yep. I'm not really sure about the sugared almonds, but it's a very sweet I said um, honeyed almonds was my word I used, first of all. Um, okay, but we also actually have from Akatsian, uh, Akatsia, we actually have honey over here in Germany. And you put them on the fields and the bees go there and they get that nice little flavor and one of the best honeys you can buy after the um, rape honey, which is also very, very good, by the way. Now the wood spices is good and, of course, the crushed cloves that, that really go, comes through. Um, the single pot still means probably around 60% um, unmalted barley, 40% malted barley. That's the characteristic characteristic of uh, single pot still in Ireland. Only Ireland can actually produce it, just like bourbon is a specific region in, a, in the world. Only bourbon can be produced in the United States. The same thing would be um, with champagne, can only be produced in that one area in France, and sherry can only be produced in that one area of um, Spain and so vita and so vita that was german and so on the same thing here um the single pot still is regionally specific to ireland all right let's try this 
Now, what I'm a little bit worried about is it says here, um, the taste is then coffee beans. I'm not a great fan of ca coffee. Then we have here dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then we have something I think I'm not very often seeing in the bottle, which is chili oil. Hmm, what could that mean? Could it mean that it's very, very hot? More than pepper? Let's find out. A nice nose, very nice nose, yeah? I really, really enjoy this. This is very, very nice. There's an explosion of chili oil in my mouth. Let it fade away. And now we get the sweetness, that oakiness, that nice wood moment. Wow. Nice. Volcano. Nice. Wow. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had something even similar, remotely similar to this. Um, this is uh, a doozy. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually dilute this down to around 30%. Uh, the other day I was watching a video as well and they went into the tasting room and they were trying new make straight off the still. And what they got was actually 25%. <laughs> they said in order to actually realize and notice what's going on in your new make, dilute it down to 25%. And of course we would have something over here if you really needed a cast strength. but or um, uh, pot still, um, right off the still strength, um, 68 or whatever, 70% it might have been. These, no, no, 25% is what we do all the time over here. And this is something that's very, very interesting. You can dilute it down and down below the 40%, what's left? And actually a lot is left. It still remains very sweet. The woody and spiciness kicks in still. It gets a little bit musty even. Interesting. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Even that I diluted down below 30%, around 30%, there's still a heat that kicks in, and then it goes back up to the sweetness, it goes up to the wood, it goes up to the cloves, it goes up to that wonderful taste. Um, nice, nice, wow, nice, nice. Um, this is something that is very, very unusual. All right, so do I regret buying it? No. Um, I've, t I've shared it with my, my buddies over here in um, Europe, especially the Irish fans that did not um, want to buy a bottle themselves. They get to try it. So I'm very, very pleased that we get to do this. It's almost like an online whiskey club in this case. Um, would I buy it again? No. So I'm going to give it actually a three, a, a, a C plus for my um, tasting notes. That volcano in the middle just really, really hammers it in. Really to say chili oil on the bottle is not a lie, I must admit. Towards the end, we have fading spices, charred wood, and also barley husk. I'm not sure about barley husk. Have you ever had barley husk? I haven't. Why don't you just write malt? Yeah, barley, but why it has to be the husk? Uh, I don't know. That's the way it sometimes is. All right, value for money, uh, definitely uh, F it fails. I'm sorry. Um, no, it's not worth 112 euros or $135 to get this over here. No age statement. This is the first Irish whiskey ever um, finished in Acacia um, wood. Yay! Now, my question of the day is what other whiskeys have actually had Acacia um, would touch them, finish them, and so on. I think there's been some German, there's been some maybe other French, maybe there's been actually some Scottish, I don't know. Uh, Acacia is not a normal wood that we usually work with, but of course here, this is something special and that's very, very nice. All right, Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, tasting rare, 2,500 bottles worldwide, and exotic whiskeys. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, maybe even ring the bell. Every once in a while, I do go online. And um, thank you very much for watching. All the best. Bye-bye.